Ahoy and welcome aboard to another art video. I must start off by stating I'm extremely excited about this one. This piece turned into one of my most favorite drawings. I drew this a few weeks after drawing that sexy man Frankie. I made another drawing in between, recorded up to when I started adding color. And that's when I realized I fucking hated it. So I just left it alone. It's been a year and I still haven't returned to fix it digitally. Hopefully I'll get to it soon though. But that's enough rambling for now. Time to talk about the man popping right out of my womb and entering this world. Once again, I apologize for my angles just having a blast and shifting around. But look, my setup got a little better by then. Allow me to introduce you all to Javier Rodriguez best known as leader to everybody who I annoyed the living hell out of when I created him. And still do today. I love him so much. I don't know why. I just do. Javier is, as his previous only known name implies, a leader of a cult. The cult of Du Erena. I always wanted to create a fictional cult but never really got down to it. Motivation and inspiration finally struck after playing Erica. Great story and game by the way, please play. And because I had just discovered Sleep Token and was, and still am, <laughs> listening to them 24-7. That new album they just released a few months ago? Mm. Please give them a listen, they're so amazing. Anyway, when I first created him in the cult, I had no backstory or anything. I didn't know exactly what they were going to do as a cult. Their cult didn't even have a name, nor did Javier. He was just known as leader. I just drew this hoe up because I knew I had to start somewhere. Months after I finally thought of what it is they do as a cult, and that helped me name them. Then just a few months ago, I finally gave leader an actual name, not just a title. Slowly but surely, their universe is being built. Things are bound to change as I expand the story, but for now, let's get into what little I have of it so far. Javier is the son of two immigrants who migrated from Mexico to California where he was born. He's a Cali girl, y'all. He's 30 years old and just like all us Mexicans, he's quite short, shorter than average at that, standing at only 5'4". I think he is what you youngsters refer to as a short king. He's a Pisces and the stars always align perfectly to form a butthole just for him. He enjoys being dragged across the beach by one arm while the rest of his body is limp during sunsets. Please don't forget to feed him his Starbucks. I don't know what sign he would actually be because I haven't given him birthday yet. Sorry to everyone. But in all seriousness, he's an environmental lawyer who is extremely connected to the earth. He had always felt a special connection to the earth and since he was a child, told his parents how he wanted to do whatever he could to protect and care for it as it does us. This is a large hint to how Du Erena came to be because of him. It wasn't long until he noticed how heavy a role favoritism played in winning cases. Most of the cases he lost were against people with money, political or law power, fame, and or have connections despite having all this evidence to find or jail them. As any sane person would, Javier became enraged by this. He became aware of one judge who was not all that subtle about sliding with those with money. I won't get into what Javier did to him in this video because I am going to draw him out once I move into the room my papa is building me. Well, I have already drawn him and another out but I hate how they turned out and <laughs> really need to remove him from my red bubble. So I'm gonna redo him. But I will give you an idea today of what happened between them. Or at least tried to. After coming to this realization, he went on one of his walks through nature to ease himself from the anger because what could he do? No one will help him have him removed. 
While he sat down to rest, he began to speak to not himself but the land surrounding him as he wondered what to do to fix, at least slightly, the justice system to fight fair battles. This was something he enjoyed doing. Since a child, he found comfort in speaking to the land around him. Suddenly, a tree fell near him, scaring the shit out of him at first, then viewed this as an offering from the earth. He was given a gift which would help him solve his problems. The following day, he returned with carving tools to carve himself a weapon to deal with those who are meant to do good, a mask. This mask was poorly made. Javier had never worked with wood for reasons I'm sure you can imagine by now, but it was still functional and good enough for what he intended to use it for. As long as it covered his identity, he was Gucci. It's not the mask you'll see me give him in this drawing, but it will be fun to draw him in his starter gear. I, I, I use air quotations like you can fucking see me. Just let me figure that out first because I have no idea right now of what it would look like. This Javier you're watching me draw right now is when Du Erena had been fully established and they got themselves that fancy gear. Giddy girl. Now, what is this slug gonna do with a damn mask? He's going to blackmail while also nearly giving people heart attacks because from how short he is, He's aware people he's about to blackmail will immediately put one and one together. So what did he decide to do whenever he breaks into someone's house to warn them of what he would do should they continue to be shitty people? He crawls on all fours as he approaches them. Because that's fun to do I guess and not at all terrifying. Not to mention he sometimes cuts the power to the house. I'm just now realizing that Javier is kind of a weirdo. He's like one of those people you're on a date with and you're constantly texting your friends about how weird they are throughout the entire thing. You're just like, guys, please help me. He won't shut the fuck up about trees. Now making him sound like an annoying person. He's actually a really sweet dude who cares a lot. I mean, if he's willing to become the leader of a cult to help a cause he deeply cares about doesn't show how far he would go for people or things he loves then I don't know what will. Over time and countless blackmailing, he gained a following which becomes the cult of Du Erena. You have Javier at the top as the leader. Underneath him are a group known as the followers. They are a range of people from judges to fellow lawyers, political party members, officers of the law and such. People with power he can use for what he believes is the greater good. Beneath them, are who are known as the offerers. These are just civilians who caught wind of the cult and wanted to join but couldn't help the cause all that much through the law. All they do is run around planting trees, don't worry, they're told which ones they need to plant to help, cleaning beaches and bodies of water, and just trying to take care of the environment however they could and encourage others to do the same. The little things are just as important. This is all I have so far for him in their story. I have a little for the judge, but I'll be thinking about more while I wait to leave this tool shed. <laughs> Once I have time, I'm going to properly write down what little I have for it, so I may expand on it in the future because I do have two other stories already started and <laughs> one of them needs a lot of attention after I finish the first one. But I really hope you enjoy what I do have so far. Well, <laughs> now that that's out of the way and we're finally alone together. Hello there. I hope you're doing well and still with me. I hope you were having a little snack while you were listening to my story. Please hydrate if you haven't already because dehydration fucking sucks. Take it from someone who's been in the hospital three times for it and still hasn't learned his damn lesson. Readjust for maximum comfort to bear the rest of my video. Alright, let's talk a little about what I'm doing, shall we? This is where I was thumbnailing his outfit and mask. You can see the mask really went through it. I was going to add these spooky eye covers 
but once I saw them on him, I didn't like it. So I discarded the idea and ended up loving that decision. The joints them in the trash. Don't kink shame me, but the only reason why I added those straps to the outfit is because I'm really into straps wrapped around the body. And because I also find boots to be sexy, I had to give them these knee-high boots. I thought it would look good to attach them together, and it did. I thought of attaching the straps to the side of the thigh, but that just looked so weird to me. So that was another thing to enter the trash and kept it as I drew it in the thumbnail. By the time I drew this, I had decided to start using myself as a reference. Here's the picture to give you nightmares and force you to spend years in therapy. You're welcome. I'm sure you notice I keep turning my head and that's because that's where all my reference were laid out. So I'm going to continue doing that for a while. I struck this post because at first I was leaning into your friendly neighborhood cliche of a cult. Dark and evil, sacrificing people and animals, bathing in blood, orgies, or whatever else they do. Now, don't get me wrong, I love shit like that. But for some reason when it came to making them, this was just not sitting well for me. While Javier and the others do some shady shit, I don't think they're entirely evil. All they want to do is protect the damn trees and the earth. The reason why I wanted Javier to have his hands sort of in a position that makes it seem like he's supposed to be holding something is because he was originally going to be holding two human hearts. Now, it just looks like he's preaching about his obsession with trees. For the rest of the outfit and a little bit of the mask too, the inspiration came from a mixture of Aztec and Mayan attire and another drawing I had just done. This cape I'm giving him, I wasn't too certain on how long I wanted it. So at first, I made it long, but I went back to shrink it because I felt like he was giving off a villainous vibe. Shorting it really gave him more of an innocent feel. I'm glad I did it. These booger looking things coming out from underneath the nose of his mask and covering his mouth are meant to represent tree roots. From now until I complete the drawing, we're going to speed things up. So please enjoy the music.
You may be wondering why they wear wood if their whole thing is to protect it. Well, my friend, let me tell you. They use wood from fallen trees as Javier first did. They refuse to go around chopping trees down for personal use when they can just let them be and continue living. They see fallen trees as offers from the earth for any living creature to use as they please. Fun fact that you most likely don't give a damn about. Because of this drawing, I came to the realization that slate is my second most favorite color. <laughs> There's my baby boy in all his glory. Just watching this back and seeing him come into existence makes me so happy. There's just something I really love. Wait, what? What? What's happening? Something's happening. Javier, you got yourself a background. What's this? You're on shirts now. And hoodies? Accessories? Prints? Stickers? On my red bubble? Please check out my red bubble. Link in the description below. Thank you for watching and I hope you remain on board to join me on this journey. Farewell for now.